Nearly 60 million Americans suffer from allergies. That's one in five people. The causes of allergies, they range from things like foods to insect bites to pets to so many other things. But admittedly, spring is in the air, literally making seasonal allergies right now the most prevalent. So given that it's spring, there's much more pollen and other allergens in the air. What happens with all that pollen? Well, we take a breath and we inhale it. If you're suffering from things like, oh, itchy, red, watery eyes, unexplained, runny nose, you all know what I'm talking about, <laughs> sneezing, and then the other most annoying symptom, that post-nasal drip that has you coughing all day long, and even some sinus pressure and headaches, you could be, well, you guessed it, suffering from allergies. So here to help us with a few tips to ease your allergy symptoms is Minute Clinic family nurse practitioner, Meredith Dixon. Welcome. Welcome, Meredith. Good to see you again. Thanks. It's great to be here. Allergy season is upon us. Achoo. It is. It is. So if you do suffer from allergies, there are many things that you can do to sort of avoid or eliminate those triggers. Things, a trigger can be something like pollen. So if you have pollen as a trigger, you want to look at the pollen counts and think about, you know, is this the best time to be going outside? It really isn't. So there are things that you can do to sort of protect yourself during the high pollen counts. You know, and that, that really is so true. And that can include something as simple as wearing sunglasses. You know, sunglasses, does that work? That works. Yeah, sunglasses are a good. great way to help protect your itchy, watery eyes from pollen or ragweed because they can help block the allergens from entering into your eyes. And that's especially true on windy days when that wind's blowing, kicking everything up in your face. And because there are so many allergy sufferers out there, the doctors teamed up with CVS to ask their Facebook community about their most pressing allergy concerns. And the results, Meredith? Here's what you said. 9% of you really wanted to know about sneezing, while 17% wanted to know about itchy and watery eyes. And it was tied at 19% for folks that were concerned about a runny or stuffy nose, as well as post-nasal drip. And the main allergy concern, according to the chart, is sinus pressure and headaches. And the one thing that I want to emphasize is if you're having severe sinus pressure and headaches without any other symptoms, it could be something else. But if it is really that sinus pressure that's bothering you, some people find that nasal irrigation using a neti pot or nasal rinse each day can help relieve some of that congestion and get those allergens out which could be the source of your headache. You know, mild allergy symptoms may not need any medication at all, but if you feel that, that you need something more, best to talk to your primary, primary care physician or your health care provider. Lots of great options out there to treat allergies. We have antihistamines, decongestants, nasal sprays of different types. There's antihistamines, there's vasoconstrictors, there's steroids, all those kind of good things. But if your symptoms are really severe, you probably want to see a specialist, an allergist who probably will do skin testing to see exactly what you're allergic to and may do desensitization to help you with those allergies. And oftentimes, a lot of people might think that they have a cold or maybe they think they have the flu, and it truly is an allergy. Mm -hmm. So it's really important Good to point. be evaluated and have your condition assessed and come up with a treatment plan together with your health care provider so that you can think about the next time these symptoms might trigger, you might get that treatment plan started ahead of time. Yeah, so that you you're have to be a little off. bit of a de detective to really focus on what's triggering mm -hmm. those symptoms and, and do something about it. Meredith, yes. thank you so very much. <laughs>